what are we going to do today? Well, we're going to mix reversible campaign. Something for Merody since, well, I haven't paid attention to her very much, so let us begin. Here we have it set up here. Well, just the main part, harmony one, and then the yeah part. Except for, we need to just, I don't know, let's make it better. First what I do when I always make a cover is I put in all the sounds first. And then for the effects I open FL Studio, but we'll be getting to that in just a moment. So what I'm going to do is move that up. So I gotta listen to where it starts. Let's see. Aha, okay. So now that we know that, let's try to find it. Ah, this looks familiar. Okay. Hmm, see. Does that look good? Is it lined up properly? I think now it is. <laughs> eh, that doesn't sound very good because like it's so high pitched and when putting a high pitched over like low parts it just does not sound good. <laughs> so let's just dial that down a bit. Okay, now let's mute this so we can listen to it, so we can balance it out without the music. Eh, it's getting there. Seems seems like it's getting there, but it's not quite there yet. So, hmm. Is it right there? That looks better. I say so. So, so I don't like lose all my progress. I'm gonna save it. I always save it for in case like my computer crashes or whatnot. It's not fun. Trust me. And now the fun part. We get to put in all the effects and such. So what I'm gonna do is minimize that and open up FL Studio. And I just wait for that to meh. And here we are. Alright, now find the main, just stamp it in there. Like if I wanted to make this faster, I would do like all of them at a time, just like click off all these. So one would just be playing, but then it'll also have the effects from the previous one, and I don't want to do that. But usually, if I want to do this really quickly, I I would do that. Alright, so what usually I like to do is I go to Fruity Reverb 2 and listen to what it is. But since that's weird, let's go back. Just click on wherever. Wow, that's a lot of power. So usually I just keep the main vocals with just the echo. Cause like I like it, it sounds nice. Yeah, I think I think that'll work. So now that I have that, I can just get rid of that. Um now let's see. What else do I have here? My brain, okay. Let's do the yeah parts. I mean hmm, what should I do? Should I Actually, add effects to FL Studio, or should I just add the effects in here in Audacity? <sighs> Let's listen to it. They can make my decision. 
So, hmm, I'm still debating on whether I should have these yeahs and effects or... Oh no. Hmm. Well, let's just figure that out along the line here. Since we already have the main part, let's go and grab that. And so I have the old vocals here, like without the effects, just to be as a guideline for the new one. And then I just delete it later. Sometimes I don't though, and sometimes it helps boost the vocals just a little bit, but usually, nah. That's too loud, and then the music is just like drowned out. So now, here we have effects, and then the affected one, and the default. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, I think that's good, so let's just play this part. Like, it'll be really loud because of the... both the old one and the new one, so here we go. Oh my god, that was a bit too loud than I expected. And these are lined up properly, I can see that, but there was like some sort of weird echo part, kind of like she was down the hallway. I tried to use this effect before FL Studio. I used it in Unknown Mother Goose. Um, let's see. Wow, okay. So yeah, that's with with the default. Now let's just get rid of it and see what and hear what it sounds like. Interesting. Now we can listen to the music with it. Well, that one, it's kind of, hmm, maybe if I use it as a boost. It's like really loud. So then I did quiet this just a little bit, so I'm gonna put it back up to the original state. So let's listen to that. Maybe... Let's try again. Yeah, it's a bit too loud with just the new part, so I'm just gonna put it back down. Let's put it down to 4. That kind of works, but maybe let's put this up just one more. I kind of want to like balance between like 
the echoey part and then also the background music just it's all about blending you want it to sound good now of course you don't have to use my method but I'm using my method because well it's my method <laughs> That actually kind of works. How about let's go to another part. That kind of works. It's just I feel like now the harmony is too loud. Even though I put it at like negative 5 and then the harmony 2 is at negative 7. But this, actually, we'll be doing something nice with this. Let's go back to it. So, I did say I was going to do the yeahs, but actually, scratch that. Let's do the harmonies. So, here we have the harmony, the first one. And that's actually from the first effect that we put on the main vocals, but we're going to change that just a little bit. I'm actually going to keep it on there because like this is what I do with a lot of my covers with the harmony that is. I go to Flanger? Was it? Yeah. Actually no, it wasn't Flanger, it was Flangus, I think. Now go to Flangus. Right here. So that gives off a really cool effect, kind of like in the background, but like not up in your face. But it does help with like, how do I say this? Since I really think the song is kind of like so, what is it? <laughs> of course it has that techno EDM beat that I really like. So I thought like having the harmony kind of in a in the back. <laughs> I can't words. But we'll see what we can do with that. But yeah, I really like this. Because like since Marody is a cyborg, she has like kind of like somewhat human, somewhat robotic voice. And I think like this effect can really change that and just like make something nice. I really like it. So let's do that for Harmony 1, background edit and stuff. While well, that's doing that, I'm gonna take a look at stuff. Alright, so now that that's rendered, let's go back. So we have our Harmony here. Well, it's going to vanish because I got the new one. Right here. Okay, so I'm going to just move it up and then match it up and then delete the other one because we don't need that. It's old school. It's the old, old. Okay, so now that we're here, let's take a look. Um, where, where's the beginning? Here it is. This is going to be pretty loud again, so a fair warning. You can kind of hear the echoey part with the new vocals. Wait. Yeah, that's how many one. I was looking at this. <laughs> okay, uh, back to what I was doing here. Make sure that's lined up. 
Tu eres o que não sei. Except for, okay, let's mute this and see how that sounds. Sounds pretty good right now, but we're going to need to quiet it a bit because it's going to overpower and it will not sound good. Yeah, it sounds very good. I like this. This sounds brilliant. <laughs> Now, this might sound good here, but when we put it with the music, some things change and then you're ha you have to change some things with the vocals so it'll sound good with the music as well. Actually, that sounds really good. <laughs> so not many changes were made. So now we can get rid... Wait. Hold on. <laughs> I almost forgot why I, why I need to delete. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Well, we don't need this anymore because... Well, if you want to hear it, let's hear it. <laughs> ah, I don't, really, I don't really like it. Let's get rid of it. Goodbye. Oh yeah, I don't need this main anymore because we already established that this is fine on its own. Alright, you get the picture with that. And, while I was doing all this with the harmony and such, I figured out that I know what to do with the yes. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Alright, um, let's see how that sounds with the, the new stuff. Uh, yeah. Ground rendering. Okay. So let's go back here. Um, port audio. That. Okay. Move it up. Make sure it's in line with that, which is not. So let's fix that. Okay. How does this go with that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's kind of there. Oh yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh gosh, I actually really like that. <laughs> Sometimes you don't even have to add effects to like the harmony part of like, let's say, so you have the yeahs here for the harms, harmonies, and sometimes it just sounds better without it, you know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, we can listen to it without the music. 
Yeah, that actually sounds really good. I like it. <laughs> oh yeah, another thing that I really like about the whole background echo with the harmonies is that you can kind of hear it in the headphones. And another thing that I really like to do with my covers, I did it in Breathe. Um, it's where the vocals switch from one earphone to the other. And sometimes I do both at the same time. Kind of to like make it louder or like to be inside your head. I know like some people say like, oh, that's annoying, but not to me. <laughs> it's a style that I really like to do. Now that we have that established, we can add, well, we can go on to Harmony 2 because Harmony 2 is right here. Well, sometimes maybe, as I said before, about like not adding effects to all harmonies will make it sound good. It's really up to for you to judge, really. But if we could, like just because we want to, let's get rid of that. We'll get harm harmony two. But sometimes maybe we can add like a third effect on it. Usually, I don't know what to add. Usually, it takes me a while to figure out what to add with this, and I get really picky about it, because like, I want to sound good, in my sense. <laughs> so I don't add too many flag or flangus on it, sometimes I just do phaser. And it doesn't really sound the best. Cause like, I know it goes like throughout earphones and stuff and that's something I really like to do, but in this case it doesn't seem very nice to me. So, uh, let's just get rid of that. Uh, just finding something. And I don't want to like, uh, do it like it's through a walkie talkie or something, like all muffled and such, because <clears throat> in some cases it can work, but in some cases it just doesn't, so yeah, I'm picky. I'm very picky about it. Maybe I'll play a different part of the song because like this part gets pretty annoying. <laughs> hmm, <laughs> interesting. Like, when I do like glitchy effects and stuff, I have to listen to parts of it over and over and over again. And sometimes it gets really annoying and sometimes that's all I hear, even after playing it, like after stopping it. It just plays over and over in my head. <laughs> but dedication, because I want to do glitchy stuff. So anyway, let's export that. Because, yeah. Harm 2. Let's go track up. Track up. Okay, how would this sound together? First, they need to be lined up properly because that's a big pet peeve of mine. With Utah covers, that is. Hmm. Sorry for that suddenly. I didn't think. That was okay. Um, I think that's good. Let's try it again. Ah, sorry enough. Let's get rid of the music and see like how that is. No, I didn't mean to zoom in. Zoom out. Ah, I think that actually sounds really good. So now that we have done that, hmm, 
Let's get rid of this. Sounds really good, actually. And I'm going to save it because I like to save things. Alright. Well, if you were wondering this, what this was, it was actually the original. So I could line it up with the vocals. Music with the vocals because I had a hard time with that. And sometimes it's really helpful to do that. Um, so since I already saved it, this is still going to be here even after I exit it out. So I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to render the whole thing. And then you'll hear the finished product on my main channel. Ah, so now it's together. But this will only be available on my main channel because I don't want to spoil anything. So, thank you for tuning in!